What's up guys, Cowboy here. I got another Rust electrical build for you. I saw some videos on using the generator for backup and what I wanted to try to build was a system that uses traditional battery backup first and then when that fails the generator will kick on to power your base. So just a disclaimer, this is an advanced electrical tutorial you need to have a basic understanding of how the, some of these circuits work before it's going to make any sense let me take you through this now over here we've got our main power coming in the wind turbine over there I put a switch here so I can disable it and have the batteries take over so here is your first branch which dictates how much power goes into the ore switch that's going to power your base. Now I don't need hardly any power just to power this light. So three is going out, but you'd set that to be however much your base needs, because this is your main power or switch, where the switch that chooses between main power input from solar panels, wind or whatever, and your backup. So this in a tr in your actual base, this would go out and go to branches and power turrets, doors, whatever. So this is the main power over here. It's choosing right now to use the main live input, which is the wind turbine. Out of the other side of this branch, it leads over to your typical battery backup setup, which I'm going to put a link in the description to a good tutorial on how to build this. It's standard, except it's been modified slightly because I'm using two backup sources instead of one. So this is branching out. 10 because that's what I need to come into this branch and go down and run that and run this and the excess goes out into the battery to charge the battery alright in a traditional backup your blocker would follow the battery so it would come out of the battery and go into the bottom of the blocker and then this blocker comes back to the ore switch so when you lost power from your main power, this would no longer block, the battery power would go through, and then this would choose to use battery backup power to power your base, okay? That's a standard battery backup setup. Instead of coming out of the battery, I've got the battery going into this switch so I can disable the battery power and show you how this works. You wouldn't need a switch here, but the ore switch over here goes into the bottom of the blocker so when I lose my main power, the ore switch sends power through to power the base. This ore switch is choosing between battery backup over here on the left, and the one on the right is the generator. Okay, so it's going to send battery power if we have it through, and it's going to send generator power if we have it. Out of this switch, this is my battery power, my main battery power. It goes into a branch up here, and we are branching out 10 units to run this secondary circuit over here. This ore switch over here, what it does is it's choosing between battery power coming in on one side, and then my main power is coming in over here. So if I have battery power or main power, it's going to send power out to this branch which does two things one it branches out and it blocks okay I'm sending two units out to power this blocker what this blocker is doing is it's standing between the small battery which you need by the way you need a secondary power source because this battery is your startup battery that's going to start the generator so it goes into the bottom of the blocker, it comes out the top, and it goes into the force start of the generator. So as long as this blocker is blocked, the battery will not start the generator. That's what this ore switch is doing. It's powering the blocker, and it's also sending the rest of its little bit of power into this branch, which does two things. It trickle charges this battery and it also runs to the force stop on the generator. So as long as this OR switch is sending power, if it's getting input, remember, from the battery and from our main power, 
as long as it has one or the other it is forcing the generator not to run so yeah so that's how it works so let's say we lose our main power you know maybe it's solar the sun goes down we don't have main power anymore so you see it flickered and now you have what you would see in a typical battery backup setup this blocker which is no longer receiving power to block is now letting the battery power through so now our battery over here is working we got two hours 11 minutes of charge time in this battery so this ore switch is deciding to use battery backup that's the primary what if the Sun didn't go down what if Raiders blew up your solar panels for example now this battery has two hours and ten minutes of charge they're gonna sit around and be very patient for two hours and ten minutes and this battery is gonna run down and fail when we disable the battery power the generator is going to kick on so now this is it's no longer blocking because we don't have any power to either side of this ore switch now this is the generator power it's being allowed through to power the base so if you had a large battery it might run for four or five hours and then this will run for two hours or if you ha you know you might need more than one generator in an array to generate enough power to run your turrets or whatever but so as soon as power is restored to either side of this ore switch the generator should shut off so our battery somehow gets charged we we plop down a new battery now we have battery power it shuts off the generator let's say our battery it was blown up so our primary power comes back on the Sun comes up we get solar power it shuts off the generator as long as you have primary power or your battery power it's going to keep the generator from running it's going to charge this battery either way and yeah that's how it works it's uh, took me a little while to work the kinks out of it but uh, it's super cool I can't wait to use it in a base build so that's all I got for you guys thanks for watching take it easy mm -hmm.